Yo, what's up, y'all? We're back with another unboxing video. So I just got this in the mail yesterday from Ami Yami. This is the SH Figure Watts re-release, uh, recolor, whatever they're calling it. It's gonna be a quick review. Uh, I don't know why I'm spinning the box around, but uh, I'm gonna open this up in an effort to avoid all the noise and stuff. I'm gonna just put some music on, so stand by. All right, so I have not watched any reviews, if there are any out. I can see the box already. Look at that, Ooh, it's like purple little color. I like that. Oh, it's also kind of very nice packaging. I really like this. See the little cherry blossom tree in the back? That looks really cool. Huh. Sorry about the lighting. I just kind of threw something together. I wanted to get this review out kind of quick. See, I'm going to just get out the packaging real quick. Stand by. All right, so first impressions with this guy. I think he looks all right. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's a whole bunch of real physical or visual differences. It's just his gi is a little more darker. I wasn't going to open this initially. I think his legs are a little too shiny though. Maybe I could have used a little more of a mat. Yeah, I wasn't initially going to open it, you know, seeing as I already got the original one, but I figured what the hey, I want to fool around with this guy for a little bit. You know, and just kind of see what's going on with him. It does look, look like he has some more shading on his arms. I didn't realize my lighting was so bad. This original. Oh, yeah, quick cut. Look. Cut at this guy. Just like that, it slipped my mind that lid was not on that plastic. I did bring out the original Ryu. I'll show those both side by side. I say Ryu. Sometimes I say Ryu, sometimes I say Ryu. I don't really care too much how it's pronounced. I, mean, I believe it's pronounced Ryu, but never mind that. Excuse the focus. So I want to take a look at these heads. This one right here, I believe, is the original. Came with the original. Look like it. Maybe it was updated a little bit. Looks a little sharper. You can see the name of focus is just going in and out. Come on, buddy. I'm looking at those eyebrows. Those look a little bit more defined. I'll have to take a look at the other one. But yeah, these faces look pretty cool. Then there's a gelin face that looks updated. His teeth on camera seems a little, a little dingy, a little yellow. It's not that bad in person. This one looks like maybe he's looking up a little further and this one has more of a doll look to it. But yeah, this is a cool new face. I like it. As far as the rest of his accessories, of course he comes with two of his Hadouken hands. I keep the second one in the packaging. No real change for that. This looks to be the same. I could be wrong. I don't have the other, his original accessories handy. It looks to be the same Hadouken. Looks cool. Looks cool. I don't know, maybe the saturation might have been tweaked a little bit on that one. And his base also looks a little different too. It's got some extra holes in it. So that's interesting. I didn't even want to pull this bad boy out of his pose, man. But uh, just looking at these guys side by side. And this lighting, you can't really tell much of a difference his outfit is just a little more tannish it's not a huge huge difference let me see if I can yeah on camera these look identical wow maybe switch up the light maybe see if that might work Yeah, pretty much these guys just kind of, they just look the same. So it's not going to be a full-blown 
type of review or anything. I just checked the quality control. Let's see how those are functioning. But yeah, I figured I would have. I was gonna keep this guy on ice, but I mean, it wasn't like I was buying coffee, so I figured, what the hey, you know, I might as well just go ahead and, and open him up. His elbows. I don't know what it is. The elbow joints. It seems to be. It feels like it's more fragile. Do still have that stiffness at the shoulders. Got that nice little ball. Honestly, I don't have a problem with SH Figure Arts doing re releases or just continuing their Street Fighter line, honestly. To me, the more the merrier. I think I've said that before. That's okay. I'm looking up. I don't think it's any significant changes as far as the articulation for both figures. Shoot, I'm more excited about that backdrop they sent. I want to check that out. So, I mean, I'm happy to have another Ryu, basically. You pretty much just basically bought the same one. I think he does have some head updates, though, so that's pretty cool. And I went into... I mean, before, you know, when I first started collecting, Ryu was actually one of the first figures, one of three that I first bought the SH Figure Woods for you. It was just as they was leaving Big Bad Toy Store, so, and I wanted the second one, so now I have one. And the differences from the outfits is so minor. I did end up breaking his elbows in a little bit further. I don't usually care much for these backgrounds, but I must say, they packed this one a little bit better than all the other previous ones I have, and I have like all of the Street Fighters from SH Figure Arts. So, I mean, I think he looks all right. I wish this dial piece was a little bit bigger, but I think it'd go good with some photography. You might be able to fudge it. It's kind of tricky getting these pieces right here situated. I think I have to do that off camera. But yeah, you get the picture. I think it's cool. You know, if you're not all in with, even if you're all in with Jada Toys, because I'm all in with Jada Toys. If you love Street Fighter as much as I do, it's a no brainer. You know, it's your chance to get Ryu at a cheaper price. You know, because that original one is crazy expensive on eBay. And that's pretty much it. All in all, yeah, I would say it's a pretty solid figure. Glad that they're bringing these figures back out. I'm hoping that they go deeper into the line this time. Now that everybody's got some fire under their ass. I'm glad that the quality is good. I've been worried about these other SH Figure Wars figures that I've been getting. They've been doing some crazy things. They've been cutting corners. I'll catch you guys on the next one.